Hello learners, I, Dr. Abha Sharma from GD Goenka University, welcome you all to NIOA Studios. Today, we are going to discuss on designing, making and manipulating documents. The presentation is sequenced as, first of all, the introductory part will be taken care of, then moving to the designing, making and manipulating documents. Objectives and specifications of designing and making. The presentation is sequenced as follows. Introduction, designing, making and manipulating documents, objectives and specification of designing and making, manipulating material and equipment. Learning in design and technologies builds on concepts, skills and processes developed in the early years. Revisiting, strengthening and extending these as needed. Students should be given an opportunity to create the design solutions at least once in each of the following technological concepts, engineering principles and systems, food and fiber production and food specification and materials and technologies specifications. Students should be given opportunities to experience designing and producing products, services and environments. This may occur through integrating learning. Students explore and investigate technologies, materials, systems, components, tools and equipment including their purpose and how they meet personal and social need within the local settings. Students develop an understanding of how society and environmental sustainability factors influence design and technologies decisions. Students evaluate design solutions using questions such as how does it work, what purpose does it need, who will use it and what do I like about it or how can it be improved. They begin to consider the impact of their decisions and to technologies on others and the environment including in relation to preferred futures. They reflect on their participation in a design process. This involves students developing new perspective and engaging in different forms of evaluating and critiquing products, services and environments based on personal preferences. Using a range of technologies including a variety of graphical representations, techniques to communicate, students draw kind of models and explain design ideas, label drawings, draw objects as two dimensional images from different views, draw products and simple environments and verbalize design ideas. They plan with teacher support of course simple steps and follow directions to complete their own or group design ideas or projects and manage their own role within team projects. Students are aware of others around them and the need to work safely and collaboratively when making design solutions. Designing, making and manipulating documents are the technological processes that are required to conduct inquiry scientifically. Moment we say scientifically that means it is stepwise and systematic. Technological skills are developed while using knowledge and resources that are available to a person or a community. For example, man used his knowledge of fire and developed techniques of creating fire and controlling it. Similarly, by observing rolling objects, he developed his knowledge about it and then designed rolling objects and perfected the techniques of designing wheels. Thus, technology involves designing a procedure, a recipe, 
a tool, a device, a machine, a method, etc. We can say that technology is a human activity of using knowledge and resources to control the things or resources make things work automatically or with minimum efforts constantly improve the way things work. Though the knowledge used for designing any technique is scientific and mathematical in a limited sense, the relationship is obvious. For example, when a man invented technique of making fire, he had limited scientific knowledge about fire. Scientific knowledge is used for designing solutions to practical problems that we face in our daily life. Thus, for building a structure, knowledge-based system approach is used. Younger children while engaged in playing design many things and techniques using available material. For example, they used waste paper, cloth, boxes, sticks, dry leaves, seeds, glue and plastic sheets for building playhouses. They used different kinds of circular things to play with. Progressively, children plan their design with the quality criteria, choose right kind of material, make precise use of tools, the device test to check, sturdiness of the design if given opportunity. In a process, they learn to make measurements for comparing the artifacts, their cost and utility. Facilitators can assist learners to develop skills required for designing and making by giving them opportunities. The opportunities can be given in the form of to improve the quality of environment by modifying things around them or creating new things that have some practical usage. To plan artifacts or solution, describe it to others and then discuss how far it is practical and to explore properties of the material that are present in their environment and experiment with it systematically. To select a problem that might look simple but is challenging, etc. With respect to the process of designing and making, you can have following objectives and specifications. Learners will be able to choose the appropriate material for developing things that are expected to serve the purpose decided in advance. Design realistic solution that can be put to use. Design and make artifact that satisfy previously decided quality criteria, etc. This process involves practical work and necessary period for working out the solution needed is longer. Some situations that demand designing are suggested. This is task 1. If your family is going out for a week and there is a small plant in your courtyard, you cannot keep it outside because it may get damaged. Develop a device that will water the plant pot regularly and evenly for 6 days. Task 2 is how will you find the thickness of a page of your notebook using compass box ruler? What measures will you take for accurate measurement? Manipulating material and equipment. Activities of science involve putting ideas in action and test their workability. If it is not expected that learners with their limited experience should work as scientists, but learners should know that ideas should be consistent with the evidence available to them at any time. At least they should realize that ideas cannot be called science unless they are supported by string of evidence. To large extent, development of ideas depends on the practical activity that aims at exploration of material. 
when one experiences or encounters objects or events in reality, then they can be used for thought experiments and for mental manipulation of objects. This enables person to handle equipment effectively. Practical activity must begin with planning. Planning involves hypothesizing, predicting, designing and observing, collecting information by controlling variables, interpreting findings, communicating the results, etc. There should be plenty of material around by learners to explore. Parents help can be sought to assist children to explore the material and instrument around them. They should be also made to take precautions regarding various things around them. For example, many children are curious about electricity and electrical equipment. They like to handle tools like knife, scissors, cutters, saw, hammer, etc. with needed care. While exploring living world, learners should handle living things with due respect and care. Avoiding hurting them as far as possible should not leave them to die in pain. The skill of manipulation of material and equipment can be facilitated by designing learner friendly and open learning environment encouraging learners to go beyond just completing activity, construct the things and improvise the construction constantly, organizing demonstrations for learners to observe and question use of tools and equipment effectively, economically, safely, preservation of tools and equipment for future use etc. Helping learners to remain alert about their inquiry by reflecting during the action. You can thus list some of the objective specifications as follows. Learners will be able to handle and manipulate the material and tools with care and efficiency. Use tools effectively and safely assemble equipment appropriately for carrying out observations and work with precision with respect to the task at hand. Process of manipulation and exploration material involves practical work and hardly leaves any scope for any exclusive task. It will be integrated with other tasks. For example, learners can be asked to design a working model to e explain Eclipse. So students, today we have discussed about designing, making and manipulating documents, objectives and specification of designing and making and manipulating the material and equipment. Thank you so very much for listening.